Dig snow, 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 dig in the snow, dig in the snow, dig dig snow, dig snow, dig snow, dig snow, dig snow, dig in the snow, dig 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 Big snow. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Air. No, Perennial. That's right, Perennial SMP. Guess what? The server has gotten is now under new administration and under new. Uh, it has a new name yes so we are no longer aircraft we are perennial SMP that's for sure now I don't think we don't need the SMP on there it's just perennial but you know whatever yes and if you and uh, uh, so new management good old our good old pal Shackleford is currently now the new owner of the server so new name new owner not new map you may be looking at this area around me and saying hey this looks new and I will tell you yes it is new however it is not a new map it's just a new area in the map because this is where I am working on my next little project yes my next little project and we will get into that momentarily uh, as you can see I was digging up some snow there we go Lots and lots and lots of snow. <clears throat> Where it goes, nobody knows. <laughs> yes, I need a whole ton of snow blocks, and that is what I'm doing right here. So, here's a little trick, in case you don't know. Uh, you can't shift-click items into a crafting bench. However, if you hover over the slot and press the number corresponding to your hotbar, so this is number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Actually, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, huh, 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 yes, no, yes, haha, <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'm sure, trust me, if you hit number one, I press, well, not number one, because it's my shovel, hit number two, hit number two, boom, it goes right into it, number three, four, five, look at that, shift click, all done, now we go six, seven, eight, and nine, quick and easy. So that is a fantastic way to load up the crafting bench so you don't have to just do this and this and click and drag and click and drag. It's just a little bit quicker if you do it the other way. So there we go. There we go. Uh huh. Five. No. No. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Still trying to get the hang of it. <laughs> but yes, we need a ton, ton of. of that snow so uh, I'm trying not to show you what I'm working on because <laughs> I'll show you that a little later uh, but for right now I'm going to grab my items sort them properly make sure I have flint dump the snow mm-hmm that and no that's wrong there we go they have to be in a certain order they have to Everything up to the axe. Anything past the axe. Well, these two are the only optional slots, really. <laughs> Torches go in that one. Food goes in either one. Anyway, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> so I'll, I'll back into this portal. There we go. And... Ooh! Don't die. Ooh! Ooh! <clears throat> that was the first portal I made. It didn't end up in the correct spot. This is the proper portal. Oh! Ah. They both work, but they just show up on different ends of what I'm working on. So let's get out of here. Maybe a little bit dark in the nether. I'm not quite sure. There we go. I think it's just because the, the sun is shining in through my windows pretty bright. So it makes my screen look darker. So the nether kind of looks darker to me. But to you guys, it's probably the same as it always is. Let's eat. Ugh. I've had some issues with these pigmen. Woo! Woo! Hey, hey, give me 
it's here. Oh, I'm coming. I left my arrow. No! Oh, you jerk. Let's see if it comes down at Nope. Nothing. I left my arrows there. <laughs> what a dumb thing to do. Alright, where am I going? We are heading to... Uh, the Iron Pigman. The Iron Pigman Farm. That's where we're going. <laughs> the Iron Pigman Farm. I just want to show you guys something real quick. Something little, little, little bit of update to... Ho! Oh! What hit me? Ah, you hit me. You jerk. Oh! You're dead. And you made me ruin... You made me ruin my sugar cane, you jerk. Got it there and there and there and there. Will that grow? That'll grow. Ooh. Yeah, though, if they're buried underwater with like a source block on top, they won't grow. Pro tip. Right, real quick, before I head down there, there, you see that zombie in the wall? That was cool. Uh, where am I going? Resource packs. Uh-huh. Let's put on... Where is it? There it is. Let's put that one on. Close this one real quick. Load. Just so I can show you something. Well, just, I want just, uh, I'm showing you something. And I was talking about the nether and I totally got sidetracked. Something weird about the nether when I, we switched servers <clears throat> and uh, I uploaded the world to the thing. Well, I went in the nether and all of a sudden I attacked a regular zombie in the nether and all the pigman zombies attacked me. And I thought it was like a glitch or something. So anyway, it happened again after that. And I don't know what's going on. If regular zombies in the nether cause pigmen to attack and go aggro, I don't know. But it's happened to me twice. So if you're in the snapshot, be careful. Not sure if it's a snapshot issue or what. But, alright, close that. Oh, let me show you what I've gotten so far. Haven't done a whole ton of AFK fish farming because I ran out of fish fishing rods. But that's pretty much, that's pretty... Wow, I just repeated myself. That's pretty much what I've gotten so far. Three saddles, pretty good. I haven't gotten any name tags, which is odd. Because that's usually one of the first things I get when I AFK fish. Alright, so here we are. Look at this. The new... These are the blocks. We, we got them a few episodes back. And these are the new blocks. The uh, di di diarrhea and antiquated uh, <laughs> granite. <laughs> Let me see. All right, diorite. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Andesite. Uh-huh. Granite. Uh-huh. Is that polished? Yeah. So that's regular. Okay. Where's the regular andesite? There we are. Okay. All right. Just so you know which is which. So, here we go. So right here. That is the andesite. Polished andesite, diorite, polished diorite, granite, polished granite. Fantastic. Most people, including myself, kind of think these are some ugly textures. Pretty, pretty ugly. Especially, so, yeah, they're just, they're just ugly. So, uh, good old Mojang might change it up before the official release. Who knows? But a lot of people don't like it. However, if we, we, we got we got a, a little bit of an update <clears throat> to the texture pack. Uh-huh. That's right. You guessed it. Come on over to right here. We'll fix that. What is that? Team? Oh. Oh, I added an uh, audio pack. Uh, it's a funny villager audio pack. I haven't even listened to it yet. There we go. New textures. Pa pow Look at that beautiful beautiful textures much better much better diorite granite andesite look at that beautiful stuff so much better so much better there are I like they're sharp and jagged jagged and sharp looks fantastic so that's what I want to show you over here and the bed they retextured the bed looks nice it got a little it, it's not made it's not a made bed very well someone doesn't know how to tighten their sheets <laughs> but it looks great come on up here as you know another new block in the game is the slime block and we'll, 
New slime block. There it is. Beautiful. Very, very cool. There's a the slime block. Ooh, I hear badness. Sheep. How in the world? Somehow, that sheep escaped and got in that tree. And far be it from me to know how he got in that tree. But he did. Just thought I'd uh, come back and show you guys the tree climbing sheep. Uh, his acrobatic skills are quite high. He should probably be in the Olympics. <laughs> Silly sheep, get down! You, you, you crazy? Here we are. Back, back at the little, at the little, I say the little project. It's quite a big project. <laughs> Here we are back at the big project. Still need a whole ton of more snow. However, it is time we get a little bit of work done on this. If you haven't figured it out, this is the project. And if you still haven't figured it out, take a look. There it is. Let it load in a little bit. It is going to be a perennial SMP message board. As we, what server is not complete without a message board? And it's huge. It's 128 by 128, which is the size of a, a, a default size map. So I have been working on this, and this entire area has to be filled with snow. All this in here. Right up here is what I'm going to work on right now, which is going to spell out at the very top. I'm going to spell out perennial message board, which is definitely the most exciting thing you guys have seen all day. That's for sure. <laughs> now let me get my bearings. We need to start. We need to start making this thing. So uh, one, two, three, four. Wait, yes. One, two, three, four, uh huh. And then from here, we need to take some dirt. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then right here, that's where the letter starts. The P. So hopefully, hopefully I did this correct. Starts right there. Uh huh. And it needs to end seven from the bottom. So let's count that out. One, two, three, four, a five, a six, a seven, ah, 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 seven, seven dirt blocks, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Holy moly. All right, so this P is the most difficult letter, uh, getting the correct shape. And I have gotten one stack of wool per letter so hopefully hopefully that is enough to get me going so from here I think it goes one two a three and then a dirt block which is not gonna stay there and we'll go out uh-huh and then a dirt block I think this is right I don't have a picture I'm doing this strictly strictly from my brain from my memory uh, from doing in creative uh-huh I think this is right I think and this should be three let's check the map well I'm standing on it I can't really very well see it can I that might be correct might be hold on real quick alright I was wrong <laughs> What else is new? Don't lose it. Okay. And. No. Give it back. Good. I think I caught it. And. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Good. So it goes over two, down two, down two, and then we start going back. So, get rid of that. Give me that back. I think I lost it. Oh well. Goodbye, dirt. See you never. And then we go back. Hey, 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 stop it. Uh-huh, down two, 
And then here we go over. Come on, I gotta get this P, and then we can start. We can start doing things easier. Over, over. Yeah, that looks right. Shovel, goodbye, dirt. Never, never, never to be seen again. Check the map. Oh yes, that is perfect. That is the P I wanted. <laughs> I feel much better having having peed correctly. Ah, <laughs> uh, yep, that's what you get. That's what you get when you watch my videos. You get jokes about pee. <laughs> and goodbye, dirt. If we need gravel, we got a ton. All that, all that's gravel. Because we are above a deep ocean. So, Mr. Uh, Mr. Shackleford, if you're watching and need gravel, right there. All that. And right there, for some reason, that block right there... It's like air blocks in the middle of the ocean for absolutely no reason. I don't know why. That's weird. <laughs> All right, so we got the P. Now we need the E. We need a PE. PE, physical education. Uh, we just go over two blocks. Yeah. So, uh, yesterday, uh, uh, yesterday, what was yesterday? Monday? Yeah, I had been to a rest restaurant that I haven't been to in many, 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 many moons. And by many moons, I, I mean many moons. <laughs> uh, my mom's friend has like three kids, and I think one of them had his birthday recently, I think. I think that was the case, I don't know. But they took him here. You know what this place is? A place I like to call Chuck E. Cheese. That's right. I went to Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> I have not been there since I was knee high to something. I'd say grasshopper, but who knows? How big is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I actually played. I actually played a few games. Uh, it's not all little kid games, that's for sure. Uh, it's not even reindeer games. <laughs> My bad jokes. Uh, yeah, I played a game that I, I was really, used to be really good at. Uh, now, uh, I guess not so much. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, back when I lived in Texas, there used to be a place... A restaurant called Shakey's Pizza, which is still around, uh, but not as awesome as the one that was in... They closed uh, in Texas. Yeah, the one there, they closed, but they were super awesome, and I had a birthday party or two there. But they had a game. It was amazing. It was called Hydro Thunder. And also, Mr. Gaddy's has that. If you ever heard of Mr. Gaddy's, another pizza place. What is it with pizza places having arcades all over the place? But anyway, they had a game called Hydro Thunder, which I haven't played in years. Super fun. Super fun game. Um, it was actually it wasn't called Hydro Thunder. It was like H2 Overdrive or something like that. Which is cool. So I go ahead and play it. It's a little bit different than I was used to. Uh, but yeah, I used to you know like all the shortcuts in that racing game. All the little ways to get in first place well guess what I played it twice came in sixth place both times I played on a hard map and an easy map <laughs> yeah so my skills I mean haven't been played in, in quite a while so my skills were kinda like eh not as great as I could have been All right, how do I do this uh, I think I started this like I did the P which was three uh-huh because this is an R if you if you haven't been following along with how I've been building this is an R so this comes out two uh-huh and then we go down to uh-huh and then down to 
and then we can go back in. What oh, too difficult? I just got to get the R shape correct. Come on. Ugh. Sorry for the not talking. Making P's and R's are are quite difficult. <laughs> Get rid of you, dirt. Goodbye, dirt. Never again. Be gone with you. Oh, uh, I don't remember how I did this section. Hmm. Hold on, guys. All right, here we go. I got it. Let's see if I can do this again. One. Uh huh. One. Uh huh. And we go. Two. Two. And two. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Let's sleep. Ooh, can we make a jump? Make a jump. And jumped. And not going to make that. Nope. <laughs> nope, did not make that. Now it's weird. In the snapshot, for some reason, when you go to sleep, you sleep standing up. Watch this. I'm standing up. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I just enjoy sleeping while I stand up. I need some food. That's what I need. <clears throat> so yeah, that uh, Hydro Thunder game. Super fun game. I love it. Food. There we go. Definitely out of practice. It was really crazy after so many years of <clears throat> never going to Chuck E. Cheese. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Congestion. Blech. Uh, one thing, you would think that a place that caters to children that makes so much money off of P-E-R-E. -E. Makes so much money off... There we go. Uh, off of games? I mean, even if they're one token apiece. Uh, a dollar for four tokens. Pe mothers and, and everybody spend tons of money on tokens at places like that. So you'd think they'd make a ton of money and they would lower the prices on the pizza. Guess what? Nope. <laughs> that pizza is expensive. You want to... You want a, a decent size pizza? P-E-R-E-N-N-I... -E okay. <laughs> Go to Pizza Hut or Domino's. I mean, or if you're in New York, go to a real pizza place. For the, for goodness sake. Two, three, four, five. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five. Six, seven, eight. But geez, yeah, for, what is it? One medium pizza is like $20? A medium. A, me a medium pizza for $20. Are you kidding me? Who in their right mind pays $20 for pizza that honestly doesn't taste that good? A medium. Oh, jeez. All right. Okay. We're good. Don't mind me. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But yeah, if they make so much money from games, seriously, lower the price of your pizza. It's not that great. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and uh, yeah, make the money from your from your games. That's what that's what they're there for. <laughs> Let them enjoy the pizza at a cheap price. Like there's a there's a good Italian place in town called uh, Original Italian Pizza. I think that's the name of it, or Pizzeria something. I don't know. P-E-R-E-N. We're doing N. <laughs> and they have pretty good pizza. And you can get a, a large, which let me tell you, it's large. Like, yeah. sixteen fifty for a large, which is probably like double the size of that medium at Chuck E. Cheese that they're costing, charging you an arm and a leg for. How am I going to make this in? I completely forgot. Right. If, if you haven't guessed, I'm jumping over to my creative world and jumping back real quick. <laughs> so, I, I think I got it. So it goes uh, two, three. 
and this is four, two, three, four, three, 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 and a three. A one, a two, a three, three. That's how many licks it takes to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of Tootsie Pop, in case you guys didn't know. <laughs> that's, that's it. Once again, the jokes, people. These be them. Ah, uh, so yeah. Um, Chunk of Cheese is fun. I mean, they got a few games that I enjoyed, a couple racing games. They actually had a Mario Kart arcade game, which was fun. I like that. I played that uh, one or two times. Uh, but yeah, don't go for the pizza. Seriously. It, it, it's a waste of everybody's money. It, it, it honestly is. <laughs> but it's where a kid... Is that where a kid can be a kid? No. No, what is that? Toys R Us? No, where a kid can be a kid. Chuck E. Cheese. Is that it? I don't even know. It's been so long. <laughs> I don't want to grow up. I'm a Chuck E. Cheese kid. <laughs> that is incorrect. I know that for sure. Oh, man. All right, guys. Uh, yeah, so that's... Uh, I went there. I went to Chuck E. Cheese's. Uh, and of course, didn't eat the pizza because stupid expensive. My dad decided he wanted to get a salad there, and he said the salad's pretty good. And it's only what, like five ninety nine or six ninety nine for a little salad bar. Not not too bad. Um, so he got that. But I was still starving because I hadn't eaten all day. So anyway, we ended up going to good old Taco Bell, and I have not been to Taco Bell in quite a while either. Um, because when we go, the restaurants here they're like a half an hour away. And so if we're going to drive that far, you don't really go there to go to Taco Bell. <laughs> but I went there. I got uh, th all three of those. They're Locos, Doritos, Tacos. Which, let me tell you, they're actually pretty good. Those shells, they taste fantastic. And uh, Taco Bell has fixed their, their recipe or however they made the hamburger. Because when I first went there, I moved to Texas. I went to Taco Bell for the first time. And that was a long, long time ago. Uh, and they had amazing tacos. And then as time went on, it got gross. Their tacos got pretty gross. And then as of, I don't know how long ago, but they fixed it. And now it's good again. So, uh, yeah, congrats to Taco Bell for fixing their recipe back. The sad part is, you get a taco, I don't like lettuce on my taco, so I say no lettuce. Well, you get like two thirds of the shell, and then you get like like almost a third filled with, with meat, and then you get like a sprinkle of cheese. A sprinkle. P-E-R-E-N-N-I. This I's got to double up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Um, yeah. What was I talking about? Taco Bell. Yeah. But one thing I missed that uh, Taco Bell got rid of a long time ago is a thing. I mean, it's rare that you still find one that actually sells these. <clears throat> the they're called. Chili, no. Yeah, chili cheese burritos, and I'm and I was talking to my parents. I'm like, well, this cheesy gordita crunch is like the one of the best things you can get. I love the cheesy gordita crunch. But I'm like, but one of the best things they used to have was a chili cheese burrito, which they used to call chilitos back in the day. But they stopped selling them, and I'm talking about it. My dad's like, yeah, look, uh, uh, the chili cheese burrito, they're good. I'm like, yeah, but they don't have them anymore. He's like, look over there. And I look, and there's a sign. And the sign says, Chili Cheese Burrito. And I almost peed myself. Back to the pee. <laughs> With excitement. I was like, you got to be kidding me. Because seriously, that's one of my favorite things there. So I got one. 
and they messed up the order of course they gave me what do they have now the the, the weird uh wraps I don't even know. are they called wraps I don't know it was like a, a chili cheese fries taco wrap or something like that so of course they messed it up and I, I was like hey you guys gave me the wrong thing and they got me the chili cheese burrito for free it was like go ahead and keep that and we'll make you a chili cheese burrito no worry so they did so thanks Taco Bell for being awesome I well, here we go the A this is gonna be interesting ooh ooh the A let's start from the bottom uh so I got that and I open it up and I'm like where is it where did it go <clears throat> where is this amazing chili cheese burrito that I was so excited to eat because wait you know hold on one second yeah. so I yeah I'm back <laughs> so so as I'm holding the Seriously, I was holding the shift button. As as I am holding this uh, chili cheese burrito in my hand, I'm like, L this thing is insanely small. Like, do you have any idea how small this thing is? They th they used to be to where if you got a chili cheese burrito, you needed to use two hands to hold that thing. Seriously, it was that big. You got chili cheese oozing out the top. Oh, perfect. I did that. What do you know? Uh, you take a bite, and it's all coming out everywhere, all over your hand. It was the most amazing thing in the history of Taco Bell food. But this thing, this sad excuse for a chili cheese burrito. Uh, I can hold it in one hand. Where did the, why did that water mess up? I gotta fix that. Hold the thing in one hand. You know what? Let's sleep. I tried to avoid it, but it's bugging me. I can't really see what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's just crawl across the letters. <laughs> and the thing is, it's like way more expensive than it used to be. I mean, it's not bad. It was a, like a dollar eighty-nine or something for it but seriously it used to be 99 cents for something massive uh, a huge chili cheese burrito speaking of which they're regular tacos come on oh I started when I first ate there 89 cents I should have just ran across down here it hasn't been easier 89 cents for a original crunchy taco now a dollar 29 dollar 19 for the same thing with with, mind you, less meat, less sustenance. I don't know if you want to call it sustenance, but <laughs> it tastes good, and that's what matters. <laughs> it, in the taco, less. Come on, people. If you're going to charge more, at least, at least keep the same amount as you used to. Same amount of food. Don't give me less. I, A, where's... Where's the the A go across? Uh, are we going through the middle? That doesn't look right. Let's just go across here. Yeah. Yeah, so give me the same amount. Don't don't charge me more and give me less. Seriously. Be better people, Taco Bell. Be that doesn't look right. I'm gonna I'll fix that later. But that doesn't it goes down lower, I know it does. Yeah, I A last one. We need to make an L. Boom, boom. L me. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we have so much left over. I am proud of myself for not doing what I thought I needed and not having enough. So yeah, uh don't give me was that what I just said? I don't know. I'm paying, charging me more and giving me less is is not good. 
Taco Bell, get yourself in gear. Um, Chuck E. Cheese, make money off your games, not off your pizza. Because 20 bucks for a medium pizza is the biggest ripoff you can do. Be, be, be cool. Be cool. Restaurants. All of you restaurants out there. Be cool. Do, do, yeah. So, all right. I'm going to dig all this dirt. So, yeah, we got perennial. Let's take a look at it. Once I get all that dirt dug out. Now, that weird, uh, I don't like that. I can't really, here, yeah, I can't. This right here. I don't know how to fix that. Maybe because it's so such a deep area. I don't know how to fix it. But I want to keep the water because I like the dark blue. It really it stands out and I think it looks pretty cool. That in needs to, is that in finished? No. Let me finish that in. But yeah, look at it. And then over here, I'm gonna put message board in red. And of course, we can always change the colors. It's not a big deal to redo that A. <laughs> How bad did I mess up that A? <laughs> Holy cow, I messed that A up so bad. <laughs> oh, anyway, all right, guys. I'm going to finish this up here, and I'll be right back and show you the the finished product of perennial message board and uh, yeah so <laughs> I'll be right back guys well I have finished up the text as you can tell I uh, got rid of all the dirt and all everything else being getting in the way I fixed that A <laughs> I fixed the water and here we are that's what it looks like and I got rid of that weird stuff that was up here, if you remember. Uh, it was just, it was just like sand and dirt that was a little higher than the rest of the area around it. So I just dug it all down and it all disappeared. So yeah. And that's all the border I've done. I gotta fill in all the rest. And I'm thinking maybe I'll throw in some highlights around the text just so it pops out more. Who knows? Or maybe I'll just get rid of the water and put in a border I don't know who knows but my main priority is to get all this finished and filled in and then it will be a functional message board fantastic um yeah so that's it I just gotta dig some tons and tons more snow and fill that in and then we'll be good to go but that is definitely it for this episode I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please leave a like. And I will get, see you guys in the next episode of Perennial SMP. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.